Congratulations on the purchase of your new Segway Personal Transporter. The Segway PT is a breakthrough technology, but it's not magic. Just like driving a car, riding a bike, or even walking, there are potential hazards. The Segway PT's unique self-balancing system makes using it seem so easy that you may not realize the serious potential risks. Just like a person, you can slip, trip, or tip over. Before riding your Segway PT for the first time, be sure to watch this video, read the Getting Started Manual, make sure your Segway PT is properly assembled and adjusted, and charge your Segway PT's batteries for a full 12 hours. Riding a Segway PT improperly can result in serious injury to yourself or others. Whenever you ride your Segway PT, wear a helmet that fits properly with a chin strap in place. Use an approved bicycle or skateboard helmet that provides protection for the back of your head. Avoid obstacles and slippery surfaces that could result in a loss of balance or traction and cause a fall. Pay attention to all warnings and alerts from the Segway PT. They indicate unsafe operating conditions. You must learn about and understand the safety alerts described in this video and respond as instructed. The Segway PT is equipped with multiple safety alerts. It is important to understand these alerts before you attempt to ride your Segway PT. When you approach the maximum allowed speed for a given situation, the Segway PT will push the handlebar back to slow you down. This is called the speed limiter. The Segway PT's speed limiter is an alert that you are moving too fast. When the speed limiter pushes the handlebar back, stop leaning forward and slow down. Always leave a gap between yourself and the handlebar. Never try to overpower the speed limiter. Aggressively leaning forward or pushing the handlebar forward could overpower the Segway PT's motors, leading to a fall and the potential for serious injury. One of the ways that the Segway PT notifies you when you're at risk of falling is by shaking the handlebar and making growling noises. This is called the stick shake warning. The stick shake warning will occur if you are demanding too much power from your Segway PT, if you ride backwards too fast, or if you try to step on when the machine is not ready to balance. If the stick shake warning occurs while riding, slow down. If the stick shake warning persists, come to a stop and safely step off. If the stick shake warning occurs while you are stopped or stuck, step off quickly but controllably. If the Segway PT detects a fault in a critical component or a battery is depleted beyond its safe limit, it performs a safety shutdown. When a safety shutdown occurs, the Segway PT automatically reduces its speed, gives the stick shake warning, flashes the balance indicator lights, emits a warning tone, and the info key controller displays an unhappy face. You have approximately 10 seconds from the start of a safety shutdown to come to a controlled stop and step off. After 10 seconds, the Segway PT will immediately shut down when the wheels reach zero speed. Do not get back on the Segway PT after a safety shutdown until the condition that caused the safety shutdown has been identified and corrected. Be aware that not every safety issue triggers an alert. Avoid slippery surfaces and obstacles that could result in a loss of balance or traction and cause a fall. You will slip if the Segway PT loses traction, potentially causing loss of control and a fall. Abrupt maneuvers and riding over slippery surfaces, loose objects and materials, or steep slopes can cause the Segway PT to lose traction. You will trip if the Segway PT's wheel or power base encounters an obstacle that interferes with the Segway PT's wheels, potentially causing a fall. Avoid holes, curbs, steps, and other obstacles, and avoid riding over any surface where the bottom of the Segway PT may strike any object. When riding your Segway PT, you are responsible for maintaining side-to-side -side balance by leaning into turns and keeping the lean steer frame vertical when riding on uneven terrain. If you unintentionally turn or drop a wheel off a curb, you could lose control and fall. You should avoid riding across steep slopes. 
Avoid turning while moving backwards. Since the Segway PT has a zero turning radius, you will rarely, if ever, need to travel backwards. Stay centered on narrow sidewalks and make sure one wheel does not drop off a curb. When you ride, keep your knees loose and slightly bent. Keep both hands firmly on the handlebar and always keep both feet on the mats. Keep your body relaxed and aligned with the lean steer frame. To prepare for your first ride on your Segway PT, you will need to select a riding area that has a level, smooth surface with good traction and that is free of obstacles. Select a spotter who has seen this video with you and read the Getting Started manual to help you and to assist you with instructions. Wear an approved, properly fitted and adjusted safety helmet. Have your info key controller ready and docked on the lean steer frame. With the power base level, adjust the handlebar to the height of your elbow. This will put it at approximately the right level when you're standing on the machine. Now move the Segway PT to the center of the riding area. Power on your Segway PT by pressing the Power Standby button. You will hear a tone and the balance indicator lights will illuminate to indicate the power is on and the Segway PT is in standby mode. Ensure that the beginner setting is enabled by confirming that the turtle icon shows on the display. The Segway PT ships from the factory configured to operate exclusively with the beginner setting enabled. If the turtle icon does not display, do not ride the Segway PT until you enable the beginner setting. Center the handlebar and level the power base. If any of the four outer balance indicator lights are red, tilt the power base or handlebar in the opposite direction of the lights. When the Segway PT is ready to enter balance mode, the center balance indicator light will illuminate green. Your spotter should be prepared to firmly hold the Segway PT to keep it from moving. Now you are ready to step on. Hold the handlebar with both hands. Place just one foot on the mat. As you put pressure on the mat, the Segway PT enters balance mode. In balance mode, the info key controller displays a smiling face and the outer four balance indicator lights are rotating and green. Slowly transfer your weight to your foot on the mat. Avoid moving the handlebar as you step on. The Segway PT will move if you push, pull, or lean the handlebar. Be prepared. Some people rock back and forth involuntarily when they first step on. Stay calm and relaxed. Look forward. If you feel unstable, step off the Segway PT and pause before stepping back on. Slowly lean forward and feel the Segway PT move forward. Then stop leaning forward and feel it slow down and stop. Do this a few times. Look behind you and then slowly lean back and feel the Segway PT move backward. Then stop leaning back and feel it slow down and stop. Practice slowly moving forward and back until you feel comfortable and can move smoothly. When riding forward, gently shift your hips back to come to a controlled stop. Once stopped, center your weight over the wheels to remain stationary. Practice stopping smoothly. Never stop abruptly or on a slippery surface or by pulling the handlebar. Doing so could cause a fall and the potential for injury. The Segway PT turns in the direction that you lean the handlebar. You turn the Segway PT by leaning the handlebar left or right. First, practice turning in place. Slowly pivot the handlebar to the side. The Segway PT will rotate. After you are comfortable going forward and backward and turning in place, try slowly riding forward and turning at the same time. Keep your knees slightly bent and lean in the direction of the turn. Keep your body aligned with the lean steer frame. Remember to avoid turning while moving backwards. You could lose your balance. When you are ready to step off the Segway PT for the first time, your spotter should hold the handlebar. Remain stationary by keeping your weight centered over the wheels. Without leaning backward or to either side, step off the Segway PT one foot at a time. Avoid moving the handlebar as you step off. The Segway PT will move if you push, pull, or lean the handlebar. 
You may find it easier to keep the handlebar stationary if you remove one hand from the handlebar before you step off. Never let go of your Segway PT when it's in balance mode. If you let go, the Segway PT will roll forward and could potentially cause injury or damage. The Segway PT provides a security function in case you need to leave your Segway PT unattended. The security function includes an audible alarm to keep curious onlookers from attempting to use your Segway PT and uses the motors to make the Segway PT difficult to move. The security function is intended for use when you remain in the general area and are able to respond to the alarm. Otherwise, store your Segway PT in a secure, locked location. To activate the security function, tap the security button and look for the lock in the display. To deactivate it, tap the security button again. Power off the Segway PT by pressing and holding the power standby button for two seconds. The display will show a sleepy face and the Segway PT will emit a tone as it powers off. You will need to become very familiar with your Segway PT before you attempt to ride outside of your controlled practice environment. The more you practice, the safer you will be when you move into new places. Use the beginner setting and ride in areas free of obstacles and distractions until you are comfortable on your Segway PT. Practice at the beginner level until you can step on, ride forward and backward, turn, stop, and step off with the same precision and confidence as you walk. The Segway PT is designed to compensate for uneven terrain. When riding over uneven terrain, keep the lean steer frame pointed in the direction you want to move and allow the power base to follow the contour of the ground. To move straight, keep the lean steer frame vertical. With practice, you can learn to ride over many different types of terrain, provided you avoid slippery surfaces, loose materials, steep slopes, and obstacles. Always proceed slowly and carefully over unfamiliar terrain. Your Segway PT can be moved up or down steps and curbs, but you should never attempt to ride up or down curbs or stairs. Doing so could cause injury. To move your Segway PT up or down stairs or curbs, step off and check the console to verify the Segway PT is in riderless balance mode. Carefully guide the Segway PT so that the wheels are perpendicular to the stairs or curb. Always stand above the Segway PT facing the front of the handlebar. Gently guide the Segway PT up or down one step at a time. We know your friends, family, and neighbors might want to try your Segway PT. Remember, it is your responsibility to keep others safe if you let them ride. These are the things you need to remember before anyone rides your Segway PT. Riders should always wear helmets. Make sure that the beginner setting is enabled. Remember to always hold the handlebar securely when new riders step on and step off. Remain within an arm's length of the new rider so you can hold the handlebar to control the Segway PT if necessary. Many people will want to try your Segway PT, but you should not let them do so until you're confident you can provide them with a safe and enjoyable experience. Though it probably won't take you much time to feel confident on your Segway PT, remember that there are risks involved. Ride carefully and safely. Always ride under control at a speed that is safe for you and those around you. Always be prepared to stop. Respect pedestrians by yielding the right of way and be careful and considerate of others. If you ride responsibly and follow the guidelines in this video and the other user materials, you will have a safe, productive, and fun riding experience on your Segway PT.